here. We are at Pop Comics at Center Street Anaheim and I am in Sam's booth. He is setting everything up. Showed up a little while ago, tried to help him out, but all I did was really stand around and not really do anything. Not true. It's it's true. He's Master here, look, technician. he's here. Look, Hello. it's Sam. Thank you. He's Christina amazing. Nerd Poppins is here. We are currently so, waiting for yeah, Bob Gurr to show up. The awesome Bob Gurr. And uh, it's almost ready. Everybody's getting their stuff together. Let me take you guys right over here. There's some people setting up. It's about an hour for the art crawl to start. Uh, hopefully this time I'll be able to try some of the food that I didn't try last time. Uh, I know that some people are supposed to show up. Look, look, I see Gavin. Let's go find Gavin. You wanna see Gavin? Look at this, look, 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 look. Let's ambush Gavin, let's ambush Gavin, look! It's Gavin! What? Hey. He's here, hi. How's it going? How you doing, buddy? Good. Hi. Good, good, good. Hi, look at that, ooh, hey. Ooh. So, you wanna come show us the piece that you made for the sure. show? Sure. This is an exclusive, guys. Yeah. We're going right into the belly of the beast. All right, All right. All right so my piece is called Spookstock, August 1969. And it's inspired by the fact that Woodstock actually happened six days after the Haunted Mansion opened in Disneyland. So it's kind of a groovy 1960s rock style poster take on uh, the happy haunts. In this case, they're hippie haunts. And it's all full of puns and references to both Woodstock and Haunted Mansion. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna finish getting ready. There's a bunch of, look at this, look at this, look at this. 3D, 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 and it's playing, ooh, playing cards. Someone likes playing cards. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look. I mean, we'll come back in here and check out some of the artwork. Two of my favorites. Yeah, look at that. That's a great piece. That is awesome. You know what we gotta do, Gavin? What's up? We gotta find a place to hang up my uh, Hatbox Ooh, Ghost yeah. print. Because it's for sale, right? It, yeah. It's for sale. So it should be hanging. Yeah, it should be hanging. Right. So uh, it's it's gotta go somewhere. I don't know where it's gonna go, but there's not a lot of space. Like maybe right here? Maybe right here? I mean, look, I'm not officially part of the show, but I think it should be hanging here. It should be for sale. I mean, okay. it's just as good. So I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna help Sam finish up before the show starts. And Do not um, cool down on the we'll see what happens when I hang up my print. Right. Okay, so fast forward a couple of hours and it has been a madhouse. It, it doesn't look like it right now, but just a moment ago, this entire stage was just filled with people. A bunch of people are buying Sam's artwork out of here and then Bob is right over there signing some of his DVDs and he's got some posters that he generally sells on his tour. So we're gonna wait for this to calm down a little bit and try to go have a word with Bob. And then um, try to go get some food. We're all hungry. Uh, our fairy godparent Albert is here. Um, my wife, Annette, and then our friend Melissa showed up, also fairy godparent. You've heard both her and Gavin on the podcast recently. So yeah, we're gonna try to uh, get everyone together after they make all their purchases. We're gonna try to go get some food. Apparently it's like one dollar tacos or something. Tacos. Hey look, we're on our way to get tacos and it's paparazzi Mike. Oh, oh and the famous doing? Misty. And, and, and Misty and Diz Lights Hi. and Robert Hi. and still Gavin and Fair God Brand Albert. So what have you guys found? What have you guys what did you guys get? Uh, well she got a cool misfit sweater and I got a Deadpool baby. A Deadpool I wanna see that. Oh, dude, sick! Yeah. Well, thank you. Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> I think it's for her boyfriend. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Chimichangas and such, right? <laughs> What'd you get, Angela? Um, I picked up some holy tea, but it's like... Is it full of holes? That's what I thought, too. No, it's actually like um, spearmint and lemon. Oh, uh, that's going to put really you to sleep. Refreshing. Yeah, exactly. That's going to put you to sleep. That's what I need. Nice. What about you, Mike? What'd you get? Got me a pin. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to me again. Awesome. Dude, this is cool. Limited edition of 100? Yeah. That's actually cool. It's got like stitch. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like it's stitch on... I, I'm not even sure if this is going to focus, but take my word for it. There we go. 
you guys can see Stitch is on the corner, uh, on the shoulder of the Stormtrooper. And how Stitch is even biting through that armor? Come on now, really? But it's a cool pin. Super Stitch. All right, it looks like our group is getting together here. Uh, it's time to go get some food. Some people are leaving, so we're gonna say our goodbyes before we go get our food. It's, it's crowded again. I know I want to talk to Bob, but he's such a popular guy, right? All right. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. All right. Well, we'll get a word with him in a while. So we're gonna say goodbye to everybody right now, so we can go get some food, and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Ceviche tostada. And I'm hoping that I don't have any cilantro in my teeth after eating. And so we're waiting for Bob to become available, but let me just show you this. Look at this backdrop. Come on. You know you want this in your room somewhere, like in your office or your living room. Come on, it's pretty rad. Right? Look at that. I'm pretty sure that if I put this in my pocket, like Sam wouldn't even know that it's gone. All right. All right. So he's finally, finally open. The one and only legendary Bob Gurr, everyone. Bob, how are you? I'm always good, always good. Here we are down here in Anaheim, out here at the Solo Store, pop this, yeah. pop that, and look at all of it. Right? right? Look you know, at this. Haunted Mansion inspires so many artists to do things their way with new ideas we never thought of. You know, look at this one right here. That really, God, look at that. Now, Bob, uh, I did want to bring something up while you were here. You were selling a copy of your brand new documentary, Turning Dreams into reality. Can you tell us a little bit about the documentary and what people can expect to see in it? Well, you know, every time you go to some kind of an event, people will say, uh, Bob, we, we know all the things you did, but you never tell us how you did that. And we think you did it completely different. Well, that's what the DVD is all about. We try to explain the fact that nowadays, let's say you'll have engineering people, you'll have art people, and they're kept separated and managed by project managers. Well, in the Walt days, when Walt would give people a job, we would blend the engineering and the art and the manufacturing and the testing and the testing all together, sometimes in one person. In my case, with vehicles, let's say, it was logical that I would design something, then I would engineer it, then I would supervise the manufacturing of it. Stop and think of that. Like in the case of the monorail. Uh, let's say like the Florida monorail, for example. I know what I want the interior to look like. I know what I want the exterior to look like. I know the mechanical components that have to be in the vehicle. Those are the primary structures, the primary configurations. But now we have the thought that from those primary structures we put a secondary structure, like smaller parts, onto which we will now mount the interior panels with virtually no fastener showing. All right, now it's a very tender point between the, what the artist wants and what the engineer will let you get away with. The fact that we don't have two people doing that, we have one person doing it, and I'm having a meeting in my mind. That way I can adjust what the art wants with the realities of what the mechanical stuff and the manufacturing realities are. And this goes on like several times a minute, automatically, every day, as you're working out that design. In the DVD, that is very carefully explained, showing how that kind of blending works together. It is different from the way people work today. A lot of people can't understand it, but with that DVD, it's going to explain it so they can get it. That is awesome. Yeah, I, I definitely know what it's like to have to work on one project and have eight different people try to put their thoughts into it 
and it never ends up the way that you think it's going to end up or how it was originally pitched because everybody wants their way to be the way that should be the way. And uh, yeah, I, I'm very much looking forward to this DVD. Uh, you know, we've talked, you were uh, very early on, on on our podcast and you talked a little bit about what you did. So I'm very glad that you have this DVD and I'm excited that I have two copies, one for me and one that I'm going to be giving away in a future episode of Pocketeers. So make sure that you guys look at the description because it'll have some information about how you can win a copy of Bob's DVD. And there it is. There it is. Right there. Well, technically, this one's Sam's copy. That oh, one's, well. That's personalized right. to Sam. But <laughs> we have the virgin copies. <laughs> there we go. But this it will is the go DVD. to somebody with your name on it. That's right. So, uh, I'm also going to put a link to Bob's website in case you guys want to buy your own copy of it. If you don't want to wait for us to give you a copy, that way you can purchase one directly from Bob or whoever's going to be selling it for you. Yeah, that's right. 8pen, eight, eight right? 8pen eight Disney Products. Awesome. 8pen Disney Products.com. Awesome. I'll make sure to put that link in the description in the video. So, Bob, thank you so much. Appreciate okay. it. Okay. It's good All to see right. you. My pleasure. See you next time. All right. Uh, hey, Sam, I have a confession. So, you know the two half bucks those prints that I gave to Bob? Mm -hmm. I was going to hang them up inside and put my name with a price tag on them because, you know, they should be for sale. Yeah, like in this show or which show? In, in this show. Yeah. We, we, just, funny. we just lost light. Yeah, I, I that figured... That joke was so funny that the lights were. Yeah, maybe that's the light's way of telling me I should end this well, vlog. Alright, well, I didn't get a chance to post it up. I thought it would be funny, but I gave them to Bob, and Bob loved them. And uh, you gave him a couple of your prints. I did. Right? It was an awesome show. I'm losing light quickly. I'm going to go stand over there for a second. So, be back. <laughs> So, I did want to hang up the Hatbox Ghost Prince because I just thought it would be funny if I made them a part of the show, but I was so uh, busy taking pictures and talking to people and just walking around that I didn't get a chance to, and uh, it's okay. Uh, the fact that Bob Gurr now has those two prints uh, warms my heart because Bob is just an amazing human being, and uh, if he enjoys them, you know, he's, he's a photo nerd too, and the fact that he enjoys them just, you know, makes me happy, so. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Everybody has gone home. Pop Comics is closed for the day. I just got out in time or walked in and was able to take a few photos. The rest of the group is sitting over here. I don't know if you can see them, it's a little dark, but that's it. I know it wasn't a very long vlog and we didn't have a lot to do or say because I was running around taking pictures, but at least we got a chance to talk to Bob and that's the one thing that I was happy about. So, uh, that's gonna wrap it up. If you guys liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, and all that blah 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 that comes along with it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.